Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal. I'm playing Nine Years of Shadows, and what happened? <laughs> like last time we were here, I was at what, like 91%? How did I gain 10%? And then I went over 100. Okay, so when I had the feeling like I could not possibly get any more powerful, I was correct. So we are going up to the toppest floor called the in the observatory. And uh, Sector H, I'm gonna guess that that's where the end game is, if you can trust the percentage. That's funny, but yeah, like I got the concert, I got all the health, I got all the notes, I got all the upgrades. I am as powerful as I will be, except without my buddy. So am I really that strong? Yes, I am actually that strong. Health regen is convenient, although it doesn't have punch that... Hugging does, admittedly. Upper quarters. Here is a passage. Welcome to the observatory where we put a bunch of faces. You're like, oh, this is probably Kickstarter land. You know? And there's an up, which is not marked. I guess these are people that are hidden. Amongst Kickstarter land. I mean, you get to see all the portraits. Please enjoy the busts and portraits. Wow, this kind of goes, doesn't it? It's like not even marked on the maps. It's even still dark. It's not actually part of the game. I guess that's what that means. All right, well, I'm going to try and make sure every portrait shows up at some place. Uh, maybe very quickly, but you will be able to say, hey, I showed up here. I'm gonna go back down. What is that face? See, if you're gonna give yourself a portrait for a Kickstarter, that's the way to go. I am unable to get further up, though. Uh, there we go. Alright, well, I guess we'll go up the middle. That's how we're gonna get the most amount of paintings. Okay, so now we're here and we go somewhere that I don't really understand. Boy, it keeps going up. Boat, check it out. There's a person there that's pretty incredible. Maybe you'll have to slow down the video to actually see your portraits at some place. But man, this was a heavily bad game. What the hell? Oh, unless I'm going... No, I don't think I'm looping. But there's just like every person in the universe apparently contributed to this. Like I am not able to tell if we've had repeats. Um, I mean, I will say like having to do all these pixel uh, portraits would take a fair amount of time. Now see, this is different with these like purple zones. This just keeps going. Welcome to the ceiling, where there's a save and there's things. What if the, actually the fight continues on the other side? Uh, well, we'll see. Hopefully they put down a um, thing, because like there's more doors to go, even though I have everything. Yeah, okay, this is actually where the progress is. Alright, well, time to look at all those fun uh, faces from the other side. Alright, you know, make sure to take a real good look. Because they're gonna go by kind of quick. Is that a disrespectful? Yeah, it is. But I'm gonna be real. I, I don't care. I understand that Kickstarter has done a lot of good for video games. And I will not diminish that. But I feel that now a lot of Kickstarter things... Uh, Sort of come with this implied, you know, put your face on, like it's expected that if you win, if you put money in a Kickstarter, you know, you're gonna get some of that delicious self-promotion in, you know, you're gonna have your face put somewhere, and it's just, uh, it's just, it's that, I'm not saying it's in the way, but it is inconspicuous. All right, well, I mean, I, I know y'all did not update your text. No, yeah, well, oh well. 
You're here, fantastic. With the oven that can be... Oh, you don't have any targets. That's funky. Same text as before I got my gray suit, because you know, that's how things be. I should very just do that, because you are faster. All right, so that's this. And here's that. Ooh. I mean, this might be different. It's a boat, like, and you got, like, a thing looking at it. It's purple, but I think that's just the, the lighting and a bunch of faces that I have no ways of interacting with. Oh, boy! Oh, a guy with a beard? Wild. I can't believe someone like that would donate to this game. I don't know why I'm being so cynical, but I, after playing a lot of indie games, I just... See, that's cool. Just no faces. That's cool. A check It's a Coco, actually. Oh, wait. Is that just a Coco stri uh, sprite? So I wonder if that can lead to problems. There's a cat over there. All right, some of the portraits are pretty nice. There's just too many of them. So, you know, you just you kind of just get lost in the noise. It's, it's unfortunate. And I know that these things mean well. I just, I just, I guess I'm going to save the map completion. I just, I don't know, man. You know, it's just, that's what it boils down to. I, I don't know. I find them distracting. Some games are able to make them really fit the game well, but, like, there's no real idea, like, why these spaces are here in Telozone. Ooh, give me a green. Okay, well, I just faded away. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Oh, yeah, we are being observed here. This is really cool. Hey, Lyle. We're gonna fight. You got a big sigh? Oh, I got the Nax. Halberd. Okay, so I cannot hit you right now, as it is. Is that not- it's not so- okay, I can hit you. Whoops, jump right into that. I did that. It's very similar to the duck. Yeah, this is all very similar to the duck, actually. All right, well, my bar is going up while I slice you up. It's pretty cool. What is a duck? Oh, what did that? Yeah, calm down. Uh, okay, I did not dodge that correctly. I'll be the first to admit it. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, shoot. Okay, I might die a few times, in fact. Mostly because, once again, I'm just being way too aggressive. I didn't realize how that would pop out. Alright, just get a few hits in. Oh. But when you're here, I can't... Okay, now I can hurt you. Yeah, that's... Hmm. What's the best way to dodge that? I wonder. Whoop! I guess be in the inside corner. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Don't do that that I keep doing. I don't know why that's what I... I need to dive in to go into the, the deep corner. It's fine. We're learning. Yeah, I just, like, I'm, I'm never at the right place. Like, again, like, I just, I'm not, I'm not at the right place. Like, that just pops open. Like, it's just suddenly, pow, it exists. There's no tell. Uh, I can't, but then if I'm not close to him to hit him, when do I do damage? 
I know that tunneling won't protect me from the laser, because the laser goes through the wall, and when you're a snake, you still get to hurt my stuff. Okay, let's be even more defensive, I guess. Okay. That was stupid, but I wasn't super punished. Whoa! Okay. You're now uh, a proper enemy from Gun. Good for you. Uh, Sawblade. Oh, that's what that does, huh? Uh, what? What, what? what are you supposed to do? I have no idea. Okay, we're supposed to be up here. So that's fine. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm surprised how well that works. Okay, well, oh, how do you. I'm not sure. That's why the green is there. Got it. Uh, I can see those. Uh, okay, I dodged that. <sighs> okay, got hurt by something. It happens. Yeah, I'm getting, like, super killed. Okay, yeah, that's just supposed to be a race. Got it. It won't let, it won't let me uh, do the explosion here. I felt pretty lucky. Okay. That's kind of neat. Uh. Oh, well, well, you know what? That's what happened. Ah, uh. oh, man, I, I like what, as soon as I need to change my modes, I just completely lose track of everything. I cannot. So don't try. Don't try to change mode in a thing like that, because I'm just gonna die.
Yeah, that's just how he makes me does that. Oh, that's not safe here, okay. Supposed to jump that. I'm so bad at this. What? Well, okay, I'm. Oh, that did not make those disappear, by the way. Am I safe here? Okay, I guess I was in the wrong spot. What? Oh. What? I don't know how I... Hmm. Uh... Nope. I was trying to duck, but... Duck didn't come. It's getting red. But, like, he's doing easier moves. Like, he didn't do the plunge into the earth move at all yet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just kind of muttering to myself here. Five, four, four. Important numbers to remember. Oh, we're not done though. Well, I mean, I play this game. Whoa. Like I probably want to do that. I would have guessed, while the lines just kind of shiver the timbers everywhere. Okay, welcome to math, I guess. Whoops. Man, I wish I had, like, visible health that I could see of you. Getting like really red. It's gonna explode or not. That's great for me. Oh, that's how they explode. They explode through creating columns that I'm just gonna eat. Got it. You're super red now. I don't know what you're doing. You're like vortexing. That's the. Yeah, okay. Uh, I just kind of took that. I just kind of stood there. Oh. Okay, 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 that's normal. Yeah, this is like the thing he did when we started the game, right? Wait, all you've ever known is pain is misery, okay. And I tried to kill you by a- So I tried to kill you by adding more pain and misery, I guess, okay. Yeah, and then he got, when he got real mad, got real red, that's when he had his chest beam. 
Do you? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Looks like a weird TV screen. <laughs> ah, what? There's the real Apino. Let's shoot yourself in the face, all right, teddy bear version of Apino. Zwee! Clearly, Belial can still move. I can't. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, that that. Oh, that is such a cool. That is such a cool animation. <laughs> Look at that scene. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, is that family? Look at that flower cap. Oh, this little ghost cat, though. Like I'm immediately distracted by ghost cat. There's, there's no denying it. Is destroyed. Yeah, Apino touched other Apino. Again, fantastic art direction on that little like that little scene. That looked like fantastic. Intertwined in ropes of rainbows. Die, you just kind of die. Yeah, but you see, you use that destructive energy for something positive, though. Like, that's an extremely big difference. And I feel something that kind of gets skirted around a lot. Ooh, look at that. Look at those colors. Okay. <sighs> Nine years of shadows. Pixel artists, art direction, pixel enemy, everyone that was there. Fantastic work. Everything that is art in this game is absolutely, unambiguously just absolutely fantastic. Great art, great settings. Beautiful game, beautifully animated game. You can tell there's a lot of heart. Game design's pretty good. The uh, Europa's motions, her various things she can do actually feel pretty natural. Switching between the different move kind of happens automatically and while it can get a bit brain dead, it's actually fun. Like, especially the first times it happens, cycling through your shapes just kind of automatically Dancing effortlessly through, through through different animal forms feels absolutely and completely absolutely fantastic. I love it. It's great. That feels great. I wish that those two aspects went together better. Like it's a metro. The highlights were the bosses and were the portraits. The portrait worlds because they were tightly designed levels that were, they existed to test your ability at using abilities. In contrast to the overworld traversal, which, ah, man, it just, it felt like nothing. 
It's always the same enemies throughout the entire game that kind of do the same thing, and you always handle in the same way. And, you know, the platforming is just kind of there, like it's just there, and because of the hug mechanic, you are essentially, for all intents and purposes, as long as you're paying slightly attention, immortal. It is impossible to die in this game. You have got to be squidding me. Okay, well... So... Yeah, like, it felt like two games clashing together. And I think that's really unfortunate. Uh, to reiterate, I, the, the love in this game is obvious, and the craftsmanship is astounding. So, like, it... It bothers me that the sum of its parts is somehow lesser than the value of each part separately. You know, like, that's kind of messed up, and that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't mind the teddy bear as being a major thing. I mentioned that earlier in the series, like, it's a little bit of whimsy. Like, they create sort of a whimsical world, except I don't know if they land it. Uh, other than that, the Kickstarter port reds shoved everywhere. Like, that takes me out. Like, it just does. The portrait hall, like, yeah, it's like, uh, I just, I, I wish that wasn't part of Kickstarter culture. Like, I understand why it is, and you know, game devs are gonna do what it takes to dev a game. But as, as someone who plays games, as, as a game enjoyer, it takes me out. And the fact that a lot of it was scrunched in way at the end, right before the final boss, oof. I understand why you did that, it makes sense, but I don't like it. <laughs> That's just how it is. And yeah, so apparently there was only two people who took the thing to design a boss. But several more, more took the thing to design enemies. And I wonder if... What happened is... They converted some of those enemies' ideas into boss ideas because they were just... Too involved, maybe? Like, this is why they all had these this long text to go through before each of the quest bosses. It's because probably as part of the design package, the Kickstarter... -er, got to give a little bio and they want to use it and it's see like <sighs> i mean fundamentally it's the devs that decide how they're going to reward the kickbackers and so ultimately this is like this is not kickbackers fault it, it is the devs fault but i mean you know they they got a lot of support we saw the huge huge block of people in the credit at the end uh, and they wanted to show say thanks and i get that and i do get that but here we are yeah the boss like it, i feel like this game would be better if instead of a castlevania type of game if it had linear level if it was <laughs> If it was more The Messenger than uh, Hollow Knight, I feel like it would be a stronger game. But... I don't know if it would have had as a sexual a Kickstarter, or if it would have as much attention, right? But, you know, just strictly on a game design level. It is my genuine, yet ultimately pointless opinion on the thing. Because, like, what is my opinion worth, right? Next time, after intermission, we're going to play a video game. <laughs> An indie video game, but not an exploration game. <laughs>